hey what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel and it's your guy i'll call you once again and in today's video we are doing um uh, a short tutorial about how you can create an instagram carousels okay so um instagram carousels are basically um, these sliced um pictures you can see in your instagram slides these slides <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> slides pictures you can see in your Instagram slides. You should know the difference. Um, bro. <laughs> okay, so um first and foremost, you should actually have exported your pictures you would want to use for your your carousel and then import it into photoshop and get started with it so come along with me let's have fun okay so guys first and foremost what you should actually do is to actually launch your uh, your photoshop yeah, mine is already launched, so I'll open it this way. And with this, you need a calculator. And I've already opened my calculator here. Because it's basically maths that you're coming to do. You should know the the 4x5 size of um, crop for Instagram. And it is um, 1080 by 1050. So you should have that in mind and you bring up your calculator this way so 1080 by 1350 so i'll be selecting one two three four five six seven eight nine see 10 images right let me add let's say let's say 12 images fine 12 images is fine so with the 12 images you know instagram actually takes up to um 10 pictures in just a slide so what i'll do is because it's 1080 1080 by 1350 the height is the 1350 and 1080 is the width i would multiply the 1080 by 10 to actually get um in a row the width for all the pictures so in this way i'll multiply 1080 says the height is just going to remain the, the same through the the slides so 1080 times times 10 and that will give me 10,800 that is fine so what i'll do is i'll come into my photoshop create a new file and inside the new file i'll go I'll choose pixels and with the weight that's when i'm going to input 10,800 here 10,800 and inside the height, since it's going to remain 1350, I'll just leave it at 1350. I think it is fine for me. So I'll just create the document this way. Fine. And that, that will display like this. That is for the 10 pictures I'll be working on. Exactly. So what I'll do is to import all the pictures into, into Photoshop. So I'll come into my folder select all the pictures i want to use for the carousel then drag and drop into photoshop okay so we have the pictures we have the pictures in here okay so we have all our pictures in here actually a lot of people have been asking me a lot about how um i do these um carousels on instagram so i i thought it wise to actually um Share this tutorial with you all so once you have your pictures already uploaded in here what you do is um you place them in such a way that you want them to in a way that you want them to appear in on instagram sorry on instagram so i'll just go through these pictures and see the one that suits me and use it for the first the first light okay Okay, so I'll use this one as the first light here. 
and i'll begin to place each and every one of them in a way that suits me okay so what i'll do next is to bring this one here this way this way and in between these two hold on i have to arrange this in between these two in between these two i'll place this one here and reduce the size a bit and place it where i think will suit me here is my yeah exactly okay so the next one i'll do is is to sorry the next one i'll do is to move this one somewhere here i'll move this one here this way and this one to here i'll just place it according to how it looks pleasing for me i think there's one hiding at the back so i'll bring that one somewhere here and then bring this one here move this one to this side and place this one here okay so the next one i'll work on is i think there was one landscape shot inside here okay so one good thing about doing instagram carousels is actually um you get a chance to mix um the portrait and the landscape shots just in one slide and i think it's a very cool thing to actually do in here okay so i'll place this one here i'll come here and place this one around this side by reducing the size this way I think if 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 it comes here, it's cool. Okay, so I'll place that one there, and we have these images here. So I'll place this one here, and I'll bring this one somewhere here by reducing the size. So I reduce the size of this image. And place this away here. Alright. And I'll adjust these images. I think it's looking cool for me. Let me zoom in and see what they are going to look like. Very chill. Alright okay Ooh, this one is looking really nice we have to check and make sure that everything is aligned check that everything is aligned okay it's really cool and we move on to the next step so the next thing we'll do is because we want to create slice of these images what we'll do is come to the crop tool behind the crop to you you select slice to select the slice to okay so once you select the slice to uh, you choose the aspect ratio you would want to use for each and every slice we are going to divide each and every slide into the four by five aspect ratio so i'll inside the width i'll just input four inside the height i'll input five okay so i'll start from the very first one the very first one i'll slice it like this so that'll give me the very first slide and i'll come to this point slice the scale one i'll do for the others exactly so same for the third one for the fifth fourth Thank you. 
you have to be very careful when selecting your slide okay so right now we have 10 slides we've actually created so the next thing we would have to do is to go to file and come to a spot come to say for web that's the legacy it opens a window okay then inside the window you save your carousel your slices the location of the slides let me save it somewhere here and name it carousels okay so i have this thing named okay then i will save it we come to your location and you check your your images so you can see the first one here the second one follows the very third one and in that order so once you post it according to how it's been numbered here you actually get a chance to actually see it in that um, slice format so it will follow each other just as it's been labeled here so that's how the carousel actually works so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you find it informative and very educating we are trying to get this channel to um 1k subscribers and i can't do it by myself i will need your help so kindly subscribe to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber salute so thanks for coming back again and give this your first actually and uh, chance on my content i say um thanks and subscribe to the channel leave the like the like actually goes a long way to recommend my content to other people who are interested in similar similar content so actually hit the like button and don't forget to comment just leave a comment below and also share to other creatives too and guys until the next Charlie we'll talk Charlie